Oh, I'm on the other side. Let's ignore that. Can we go out this door? Nope. I'll possess these people. I hope my wedding isn't this stressful. It seems pretty depressing. Is this grandma? It's so simple to be a nice person. Why can't everyone do it? Because people are fucked, madam. It's just that Shelly didn't grow up around boys. Where's my kitty cat? There we go. Wait. Not my husband's Irish family, but my family, the Winslows. We go all the way back to the Pilgrims. We settled in Salem in the 1600s. We invented Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's so cool. Meow. <laughs> Aww. You kick cat. Yeah. What's that? The cat is the cat immune? To demonic stuff. They're young. Oh. I can hear a lot of bubbling. Oh, that's those are those. Okay, little Miss Mr. Meowington. I hope I don't miss anything. I don't want to skip at all. Okay, I think this is where I get out. Is she right here? Yeah. There she is, finally. Why do I always lose my keys when I need to leave? How can I get through to her? Hmm. Oh, I hope I hope I can still learn things. What would make her think about the bell killer? What the? Oh, oh, you have no right to dump your unfinished business Hold on. on me. Now, I'm tracking down my killer, okay? Someone who was seconds away from attacking you about an hour ago, and if... Wait a minute. You, you can see me? And hear me? <laughs> <laughs> She's a ghost whisperer. She's a medium. Holy shit. Yeah. You're a medium. <laughs> well, I ain't, ain't I the luckiest guy in the world? I just found the perfect little helper. What 
is it with you guys and my family? Helping the cops do their job is not some, some privilege. It's a trap. I'm not your informant, your partner, or your friend. I don't owe you. If anything, you owe me. Dick. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. You're tough, okay? But you're not tougher than him. You saw what he can do. He's coming after you, or someone close to you. Whoever he wants dead is lucky to still be alive. Now, I know what I'm doing, and you can help me stop him. All you have to do is answer some questions. Look, I'm sorry. What happened to you was horrible. And you... You saved my life, so... What do you want? Alrighty. So... In questioner, let's just make sure it's nothing else. Fine. Don't talk. Let's see what I care. Okay, hold on. Why would the killer be looking for you? I was murdered tracking that son of a bitch to your place. So why would he be looking for you? That freak was probably looking for my mom. Not me. I, I'm a nobody. Invisible. My mom and I tried very hard to keep it that way. Not everybody wants to be noticed, you know. Looking for your mom. Looking for your mom. What does that mean? She's like me, but she found a way to make a respectable living off of what we can do. Living that probably turned her into a target. Look at her button. It's a trap. That's hilarious. Where is your mom? So where's your mom, kid? Probably dead. She would never just leave me without saying a word. Never. I don't know where she is. I know the bell killer had something to do with her disappearance. Him showing up tonight just proves it. If he killed her, why would he come back to her place? Hmm. I don't know. Look, assuming the worst never helped no one. What do you mean by respectable oh, yeah, living? Respectable living? Yeah. Hey, you might know her. She was working the Bell Killer case with the cops as a contract psychic, a profiler. Sorry, kid. She didn't ring any bells. I found this in the apartment tonight. Mentioned something about some Bell Killer book, and it's in her handwriting. Bell Killer book. If she was a profiler, it's probably the book she kept all her case notes in. That would be at the station. Really? Fine. Don't talk. See what I care. I just finished talking. Do you know the killer? Have you ever seen my killer before tonight? Do you have any idea who he is? You cops are so hard up on clues that you're actually asking people if they know who the killer is. Now I get why you need so much help. I'm not asking people. I'm asking the witness whose life I just saved. Why don't you live there? Why don't you live there? Because of people like you always asking for help. Trying to connect one last time with your loved ones or, or resolve some crazy problem. I love my mom. But I can't live in one place for too long, or people like you will find me too easily. How old is she anyway? I'm curious. I wasn't home much either growing up. I know that's rough. Alright, another question to answer, or ask her. Why were you at the apartment tonight? Alright, alright. What were you doing at your apartment? I live there, Sherlock. Well, I used to, whatever. My mother has been missing for a few days. I, I don't see her that often, but she never just disappears. Not like this. You're not safe alone. You need someone watching over you. 
Us cops find missing people. I found you, and I can help you find your mom. Your problem is now my problem, too. <laughs> no way. Uh, don't get me wrong. You saved my life, and... Okay, I can't pay that back, but... Your problems are your problems, and mine are mine. <sighs> there they are. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Have a nice afterlife. Oh, wait a minute! Don't go yet! Just stop for a second, will you? We're on the same side. If your mother's involved, we need to work together. Work together? What are you gonna do? You're dead! I'll handle it. Just leave me alone! Damn. I bet she knows more. I can't let her get away. There's gotta be another way down. Yeah, jump your ass out the window. <laughs> I can't lose track of the witness. She's the only one who can help me find the bell killer. I feel like there's something else in here. Whatever. All right, Mr. Cat. Yeah, you can just walk right through these things. I don't know if I need him anymore, but... Oh, dur. Dur, 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 dur. I just need one more. There better not have been one down in that main area there. I'll be very upset. What are you people doing? I got you! Oh, the cat. We're probably better off at home with the doors locked. Try and check some shit out. Make sure I found all there is to find. Yeah, see, that's just the uh, the hallway. I've been here before. Hold the phone. Where's that kitty? Can I get out here? With the cat? Because if I could get out here with the cat... I'd be able to walk over that and go up the stairs. I don't know if there's anything up there. Probably not. There's only one more of those left, guys. I just wanna... I just wanna find it. Well, you know what? It, very, it could be very much be... Because that goes to the elevator. Even so soon, dear. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'll be back. Don't wait up, Father. Be careful out there, amateur. <sighs> Crap. 
crap. All right, Father, come on. Thanks, buddy. Of course. Distract. Some objects can be activated to distract demons. This draws the demon's attention and allows you to sneak past them unnoticed. Okay, I was wondering what those guys were used for. Distract the demon. I know how to execute the demon. Get out of my face. There you go, what's up, bitch? Woo! There we go. I feel like... I'm missing one... Like, I know I'm missing a, a chainsaw. I just want to see if it'll let me find it. Hold on. I'm gonna go back up here. There's a collectible over there. There you go. Is this it? Second time's a charm. I asked him to ask me again. I was lucky he hadn't left me after I never answered his first proposal. He must really love me. He smirked and got down on one knee, kneeling right in a dirty puddle on the street. He didn't care because he knew what this meant. I'd already made up my mind, finally. He grabbed my hand and said, will you? And I just said yes. Didn't even let him get to the part about marry me. We just knew and we laughed. That was a very good sign. Ah! It's some murder! Did I make it to that side of the... the hold on, let me try something. I'm gonna walk through the doors, because I can. Aha! Got it. Bell Tower Banshee, let's see. Recall the flashback. Well, it was somewhere around noon on a Sunday when I got a call from the pastor. He was looking for someone to fix up the old church. It had been sitting up on that hill, abandoned for over 40 years after getting hit by lightning back in 98. It suffered a bunch of fire damage. So of course I, I agreed to help. I knew something was wrong the second I stepped inside. As an, an inexplicable chill came over me. Anyway, I, I shook it off and I, I set to work. As I started tearing up the damaged floorboards, they were all bad. Well, I uncovered an old rat's nest. It seemed like any of the others I'd seen over my 22 years in the construction business until I saw 
the scraps of human hair and bones that the rats had used to make it. Well, suddenly I, I heard the floorboards on the second floor creaking above me and the sounds of a young girl weeping. Well, you know, I was worried that the damaged section of the ceiling was going to give away under her weight, so you know, I, I yelled, hey, you know, stop, come down immediately. Well, my voice must have startled her because she went completely silent. So I got up and I, I went to look for her. When I entered the room upstairs, though, I was surprised to see it completely empty. It only took me, you know, a minute to make my way up there, and I would have heard her run off if she did. But that's when I heard the weeping again. Only this time it was coming from the bell tower. So I, I climbed up the long, treacherous, curving stairs at the top, and I, I noticed what I thought was dried blood dotting the way. When I finally got up to the belfry, I was just paralyzed with terror because lying before me was the withered corpse of a young girl. Judging by her sun-bleached clothes and weathered bones, it seemed like she'd been lying there for the better part of those 40 years the place had been empty. The rats, I mean, they, they picked her bones clean. I, well, I took off running. I didn't stop until I got all the way to town. The ravages of time made it impossible for the authorities to get any identity on this girl. It seems Salem will never know who killed her. Some people still claim to hear her weeping there. As for myself, I never went back. Yeah, I wouldn't either. That's cool, though. Eternal Flame. Those are probably the ones outside. Anyway. I, oh, collectible. Organ dedication plaque. This organ, rebuilt in 1919, is dedicated to the souls of this parish lost in the Great War. Alright. Let's bounce. Damn it. Now what? Where'd she go, huh? <laughs> what clue will tell me where she's headed? Um. I'd say that. Witness should get her bell killer case book from the station. I'm gonna say this. No. Include info about the location. So this then, right? Yep, I should have guessed that. Now, find my book at the station and don't look back. I was gonna say that. I thought she already grabbed it. Yeah. She's headed to the police station to steal some book. <laughs> She'll blend in well there. Did you know her mother worked for the police? <laughs> Fine. Don't tell me. Puss. Time to head back to the station. Ha.
Quite the neat little old school church. Alright, well. It'd be great if it load. There we go. Alright, I think we'll split right here. God, I wish I just said that. I'm stupid. <sighs> Obviously, it had the load. Oh, I second guess myself all the time. Oh, well. Okay, we'll be back. 